Hi. We are reporting live from my bed because that is the only place that I have somewhat decent lighting. So, happy holidays, people. I absolutely love putting together little lists, gift ideas, all that jazz, and I figured I'd just make a longer form video. You just hear that? My hip just cracked. That's probably not healthy. Just a longer form video going more into depth about some of my gift ideas. First, I'm gonna go through my like master list that I created for Black Friday. I will link below the master list because it's still very helpful. Also, my like to know it has gift guides on it as well. <coughs> this is on my link tree for my Instagram. This Black Friday Cyber Monday master list. This isn't a master list of every single sale. It's just things that I really love. I'm gonna start off with gift ideas like in general. This one is more for like mom and aunt, mother-in-law, boyfriend's mom. It's the Nori Press. And this is like a, um, for steaming, ironing, all of that. And I, whenever I think about a really good gift, I think, would I ever think to buy this for myself? Probably not but I'm so happy that I got it. Pajamas! You can't ever go wrong with pajamas. Good places to look are Eberje, and you can get those like Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Eberje.com. Lunia, they have silk pajamas also on this list. They are my favorite pajamas. I also received them as a gift, and I, like, I would have never bought them for myself. I swear to God, they're my favorite pajamas. They last a very long time. It's a good investment and a great gift. Also in that category, like robes or slippers, Barefoot Dreams has good robes, slippers, and like throw blanket. Oh, also the sleeper pajamas with like the the fluff on the, you know, fluff on the cuff. The feathers, why can't I freaking think? Personally, I know my mom wouldn't like those because it's just like too much fluff going on, but for like a younger girl or like bride-to-be, it's a fun gift. Okay, a lunchbox. Try and find a really cute, fun lunchbox as a gift. I've given my mom one of these, given my boyfriend's mom one of these. Cow Pack has a really cute one. There are a few other brands I can't think of off the top of my head, but I will put them here. Oh, hair care stuff. I really like Olaplex. I know it's expensive, so it's a good gift to give to someone. Also lately though, I really love Ceremonia, which is a Latin hair care brand. Just the smell of it, like I got my mom hooked on it too, and they have like a hair oil, and I think on here they have a starter kit, so it's like a shampoo, conditioner, and they also make candles. I haven't smelled it yet, but I'm sure they're lovely because all their other stuff smells good. Wine, always a good gift. But try and pick something unique. Like, Usual Wines has the really cool bottles, but I think they have like a holiday pack, so it's a few different kinds. If you don't know if they like red, white, rosé. Our Place. Do you, if you, if you guys don't know Our Place, they have like pans, pot, like kitchenware stuff. They often have sales going on. They're not just a regular pot and pan. I gave my mom a pan a few years ago. She loves it. It's nice looking. It's not crappy looking. Bando, the website, this is also on my dog, has a lot of cute gift ideas. They have like little cookbooks, little flower vases, tile, the little like tracker things. I have them on, I don't have my keys right here. And you just ring it if, you're, if you lost it. A beanie, like a nice cashmere beanie is just such a good gift. They come in so many colors at J. Crew, but again, like you can get that at a um, department store. Okay, we're moving on to accessories for the ladies in your life. Dagny Dover. I love Dagny Dover. I, I think I put a lot of those things on my Christmas wish list last year. I started making videos about it, and that's why now, like, occasionally I work with them a bit. I have the Ace Fanny Pack, which I've turned so many people onto, especially my mom. I think it's called the Landon Carry All Bag. I think I have a. I think I have a small. No, I think I have a medium size and a large or an extra large. It's like perfect for traveling or like overnight. It is the perfect size. I love it. Love, love, love. MZ Wallace, another one of my favorites. Whenever I'm in doubt and I need to get someone like a really nice gift, I'll just pick out a bag from there. Oh, my favorite though. I will show you this bag. This is the Micro Sutton. And if I could just get a hundred of these and dish them out for gifts, that's what I would do. My friends make fun of me for how much I put in here, but I swear to God, I'll put like a sandwich, my Kindle, 
wallet, keys, 10 lipsticks. Oh. So yeah, that's a huge one for me. And I linked all my favorites there. J. Crew also has been killing it lately. Their swim is really cute. Um, I'm gonna do beauty next. But what I've really been liking lately is, oh, Merit has the a blush stick. And it's just the prettiest color. It's such a good stocking stuffer. I think it's like pretty affordable. The Man Eater Mascara from Tarte, which I find hard to buy these days, like they never have it. And then the Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer from Smashbox. It's good stuff. The Living Proof Dry Shampoo. This freaking thing saves lives. In the winter it gets so dry and it's just like stuck to my head. So it just gives it like a little volume and my curls stay in so much better. Indie Lee is a skincare brand I also discovered like last year a friend of mine told me about them and i swear i started using their toner spray and people were saying like my skin looked different in a good way and i was like wow this is really doing something regardless if they have sensitive skin it's going to be a good um, product for them this isn't really a groundbreaking but the nars bronzer in the shade laguna all right let's move on to men so here's some gifts we'll, we'll start like basic and then we'll go to like more trendy fashionable ideas great place to look for guys of all kinds is bellroy got my boyfriend a wallet from here i think it's oh it's called the apex slim sleeve wallet and i gave him this one and he, he uses it constantly uh then the classic backpack no matter like what occupation the guy you're shopping for has or what he does like having a backpack is really good like traveling work whatever it's just not like dorky looking it's like a sleek chic looking backpack and then a toiletry bag also from bellroy an espresso machine if they are big coffee cappuccino espresso kind of guy you can find some really expensive ones but they're definitely ones that are affordable like this one i linked is on walmart and a speaker like a jbl flip what is it the marshall speakers those are really cool sunglasses I feel like guys always need a pair of sunglasses. I really love Ray-Ban ones. There's something for every guy, but lately I really like the hexagonal lens shape. So Mark and Graham is a website that I really like to look for gifts. It's always good to just have like um, a tech folio, just like somewhere to keep your passport, your like AirPods. And then also my boyfriend got this a briefcase, but it's not like a traditional briefcase. It's very nice, I will show a photo. Okay, another great idea luggage i have gotten um people away bags as a gift if they're going on like a trip or i don't know you know that they'll be traveling this is such a good idea and of course clothes that's always easy shoes vejas are great uh i know like they're so basic now but i love them johnson and murphy also has kind of like work sneakers they're leather but they're also kind of sneakers i love buck mason everything for guys like t-shirts are great you could get a pair of lulu joggers aloe you could always look at like faraday revolve even has some really cool guy stuff it just depends like how funky they're willing to get uh noah that's like cute coastal kind of clothing scotch and soda even j crew has nice stuff for guys okay now i want to get more into some creative gift ideas i love like a meaningful creative gift. I think that sometimes spending less money and putting more thought into something is just, it means a lot. It doesn't have to be the holidays. This can be for like any occasion, a birthday, an anniversary, anything. I wanted to share this idea. This is for anyone like, this is, this is mainly for the guys, okay? This is such a good idea. If you have a significant other that maybe you don't live with yet or like you spend a lot of time at their place vice versa it is so annoying when you like go over there and you don't have the shampoo you like or your lipstick or you don't have a hairbrush like just you're missing all these things like i know at least when i go to when i had gone to my boyfriend's in the past it'd be like head and shoulders and i was like this is not this is tough and also like i take supplements and like things like that it's, it's just stupid shit that girls think about so i would like bring all my snacks like the oat milk i like a few outfits like makeup just because i didn't know what the next day would bring and that is so annoying like constantly bringing all that stuff a great idea for a guy or a girl i would get a little box bag whatever basket doesn't that does, that part does not matter take notice of like okay what kind of concealer does she use i'm just gonna get her a mini like tart concealer and if you're like totally what the fuck is this girl saying and you're a guy right now 
I will make a list in the description. So like if you're totally lost, these are things that you can get like a guarantee. She's she's gonna be a, she's gonna be good to go with these. Maybe a hairbrush. What kind of hairbrush does she use? A few snacks. Like what does she like to snack on when she comes over? Put it in the basket. An extra toothbrush, just so she has. Some tampons if you're feeling crazy. <laughs> that means a lot, and like I would be more inclined to stay over more if that were the case it could be as creative or as simple as you would like if you have a friend that stays over your place a lot same thing so i think that's very thoughtful another creative idea is do like some kind of craft <laughs> now this sounds kind of juvenile but hear me out just go martha stewart on your holiday gift and maybe just make like a little book i bought one from michael's that was maybe like five dollars and i just pasted photos i really liked and just made like a mini scrapbook and i would probably ball my eyes out if someone did that for me i have done that for people before and i love it especially seeing their reaction is just like so priceless <gasps> my water just has been leaking onto my bed this entire time and i just realized <laughs> I'm a big shutterfly girl, so I love to make photo books if my family and I had been on like a vacation or had a long weekend together. And it just like makes everyone laugh and then we keep it on our coffee table and just like go through them every once in a while. So I got my dad a set of mugs and he is a professor. So I cut out like his right my professor reviews that are really nice and I put them on different mugs. So like every time he like has his tea in the morning, it's just like the wonderful things that people have said about him just like remind him how great of a professor he is. Or you could even take like your drawings from childhood or like some artwork that you've done and turn them into mugs for your family members. I think that's like a cute idea. Bake for someone if you're a good baker. If you don't, please, for the love of God, don't do that. For buying a bunch of ingredients for this person's favorite like treat or it could be a meal if you're feeling crazy get all the ingredients to get to do that and like bake it together that's fun a box of their favorite snacks that is always the best my mom is like the only one that knows all the snacks i really like lastly experiences i always would prefer an experience over a physical gift at least i do now that i'm a little bit older one night staying somewhere cool with someone is so exciting it doesn't have to be far away maybe just nearby a spa treatment that's a good gift too someone really likes going to plays that is a good experience i call this a surprise date but like it, it can be it doesn't have to be a romantic date one cool way to do this would be maybe like on a piece of paper printing it out so like Okay, dinner, three options, like three places you know they really like. Give them a pen and they can like circle which they prefer. And then finally an activity like wine night, go to the movie, some, go shopping, like an activity. And then they can circle what their perfect day looks like and then you make that happen. Someone that I really loved did this for me when I was a kid. And like every birthday she would give me a little card and it would be like options and she'd make me circle what my perfect afternoon would be and then she would treat me to it. Another way to do a surprise date, give them a few things in like a little box or an envelope. So things you can include are a Lyft or Uber gift card, a voucher, so maybe like $20 for you to get to where you need to go and then you send them an envelope with an address and they can't cheat like they can't look up what the address is this is like this could be like kind of dicey if you think you might be getting engaged like don't do this <laughs> then they might get the wrong idea but mail gift card or maybe like a dry bar gift card a glam squad gift card something like that like it doesn't have to be so extravagant but it could be like a $20 nail gift card, you could get like a pedicure or something like that. And then if like you really want to go crazy with either flowers delivered or like an accessory, like let's say you wanted to get them a pair of sunglasses or shoes or a bag for the holidays and like right in the note, like wear your accessory to the address that you take your Lyft or Uber to. Let's say maybe it's a restaurant that they'll love, a cool cocktail bar, and you can like take those and spin it however you would like. But I hope this is like helpful to somebody who is really struggling in terms of gift ideas. I am always posting like new ideas and things I really love on all of my social accounts, like mostly TikTok, sometimes Instagram. So check me out there. Happy holidays, guys.